Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can integrate Aweber, and this, this goes for any uh, uh, service like Mailchimp, Eye Contact, or anything like that. But I'm just gonna be focusing on Aweber. Okay, so I have a, a new client here, and here's the landing page. And while that loads up, I'm gonna go to Aweber.com. And you can see uh, we want it so that when they opt in here, it goes to it adds them to uh, WordPress, but also adds them to Aweber. So I'm gonna click log into Aweber here, and we go to Web Forms, and then I'm going to click on this one right here. Okay, so this is a form that I've created. It has a name, email, and phone number in the exact order that it has here. Um, you don't have to have the the phone the the phone area, but uh, I'm just adding it so that I can actually have the phones, uh, phone numbers inside of my Aweber too. But you don't have to have that there. But if you do have the phone number there, you have to make sure that the, it, it's in this order of uh, name, email, and phone. You can just drag them up and down. Um, so yeah, this is the same thing for MailChimp. MailChimp has a designer too. Um, eye contact who has one, get response. They all have these types of different uh, uh, visual uh just uh, creators for the forms, just make it sure it's, it's the name, the first, their full name, their email address, and their phone number, so that it can, it's matches here. Um, so once you've done that, you, I'm just gonna, okay, I'm just gonna hit, go to the next step. Um, for the thank you page, you wanna have, so put custom URL. The, the custom URL should be the same, the actual uh, URL, of, of the actual landing page um, and this is if you don't have an, another landing page that you're I mean a download page that you're using from another system or in, within inside of WordPress itself but so what happens when they when they opt in they'll be taken to Aweber and then they should be redirected to this to the landing page again so you can either copy and paste the uh, the URL here and then paste it in here or um, just use you know, one of Aweber's pages or whatever but once they get uh, once they can click to confirm their email address have them sent back to the landing page. You can get the landing page URL by just co going to uh, view landing page and then just copying and pasting the actual URL here URL at the top here. Um, because once they once they opt in, they're going to be getting a, a 24 hour cookie on their uh, browser. So that anytime they go back to that landing page, it's going to show them a landing page. I mean, show them the thank you page. Um, so that's how that works. So basically, once I've done that, it goes to I'm just gonna just using a, a stock version thank you page on Aweber. Click on publish, hit save webinar or save web web form, that's what it said. And then I'm gonna install my form. What you wanna do is you wanna grab the raw HTML, grab the entire thing, all this stuff. Do not grab any JavaScript code, just always grab the actual HTML of the forms. Go to uh, landing page, go down to autoresponder paste in all the code right here at the top like all this is a lot of CSS and all this junk just paste it here click on add autoresponder code what it will do is it will grab the, the, the name fields email fields phone fields uh, custom phone is the is the name field I gave the phone um, so if you don't have the phone field here um, this will be blank uh, also the email and name just just these are just so you don't have to edit any of these things here these are just to make sure that um, everything is set up correctly. So if you see something, say this this name field says email, and this says uh, and this email says name, you can just switch them around to make sure that they're congruent and they match. Uh, then the, the form URL and all the hidden fields right here. So you don't have to worry about any of these things. Just save settings, and then once you go back and reload the page of your landing page, I'm just going to opt in here as. Uh, actually, I'm just going to sh show you. That it works by actually, I'll just whatever, I'll put whatever some information here and then put an email address that's fake and then some phone number. Click on subscribe, then it's gonna go to Aweber. As you can see, you're almost done. Activate your subscription. This is a landing page that is inside of Aweber itself. Um, but if I made the URL go back to the landing page, it would have gone back and shown me the landing page. So if I go back here, click reload. As you can see, the landing page is showing me the thank you page.